Graphic Guide to Groups. Text by Stephanie Futcher. Animation by Mike Futcher. Chapter 1. The Three Circles. Based on principles developed by John Adair. Hello. Groups work on different levels. And people who study groups have identified three areas, which are achieving the task, developing the individual, and building and maintaining the team. Let's look first at the task. A group set up with a particular purpose, to achieve a goal and to perform tasks. This is usually the focus of all the attention. The group is assessed on how well it achieves its aims and objectives and people join the group because the task is important to them. But in order to function well, we must also pay attention to the individuals in the group and how well they function as a team. Let's look at the individuals. People won't join the group, stay or help with the task if they're not able to put something in and get something out for themselves. Look at the team. It's important that the individuals work together. So this area is about relationships, communication, managing conflict, encouraging cooperation and sustaining the energy of the group, perhaps by recruiting new members. If the individual gets fed up or the team stops working as a team, then the task doesn't get done. Individuals collapse for different reasons. However much they want to see the task achieved, they'll stop putting their energy into the group if they don't feel valued, if they don't gain some personal satisfaction, or if they simply burn out. Groups collapse because of breakdown in communication, confusion, conflict or even stagnation. What might stop this from happening? Having clear values might help. At the heart of the group, holding the three circles together, are its core values. These enable you to perform the task, cherish the individual and maintain the team. To learn more about the importance of values to group working, see the next chapter, Values at the Core.